Wow, okay, guys, there has been a development like no other. It's so funny because I've done so many videos in the past 24 hours and being like, this is the last video. Nothing's going to happen. Well, you, you know what happened? There was an eruption here in Iceland. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly go through all of the images that I've been taking a look at on the news, some of the information that's been going on, and and just sort of talking about it. I mean, it's really big. This is the first time I've ever experienced an eruption. I honestly thought that there was going to be like this giant earthquake that was going to be the release of this, this eruption. But like a lot of you said in previous video comments, sometimes these things just happen kind of quietly, and that's exactly what happened. Let me take a look. And, and we'll go through the image you're seeing now is from the Coast Guard and they took a picture of the actual eruption and the lava now that is above the surface. So it's it's quite contained right now. And I believe what they're saying is it's slow moving. So the eruption happened. At, and again, I've tried to pronounce this in previous videos. But we'll see if I can get this time. Fagras del Svet. So it's right here. Definitely in the area that we thought that this was going to happen. And this eruption that where it was going to occur now the blue lagoon is close to here so i'm pretty sure that's going to be closed for the time being they did shut down the airport as is protocol as soon as there is an eruption it's a red alert and and there's no flights from Keflavik Air, airport because it was within the radius of the eruption so here's another image of a sort of a map that uh, shows exactly where the eruption has occurred. It would be difficult to go and take a look at it. I would advise you not at this point, if you're listening to Eisen, do not go there until you are given the all clear. It's, it's super important. It is dangerous and they are saying it's dangerous to do that. So moving on, because it is so dangerous, they have closed the main roads and they did this fairly quickly. Because as you can see, the number of cars that are behind this police officer trying to go and see this eruption and the lava. Again, it's very dangerous at this point. Who knows what could happen? I know that other people in other videos, comments were saying that perhaps there could be more earthquakes or something unexpected happen. No one knows what could happen in terms of the eruptions other than the fact that it has erupted and they need... We need to get the scientists and the officials in there to make sure that it's safe. And if there is a place that we can view it, they will let us know. Taking a look at some of the images found around the web of people who have seen the, the light that's shining. Now, it is a cloudy day today. So that is why we're able to see this sort of red glow. And there's a few images of this here. You can see again how it looks at night. I'm quite glad this didn't happen in the middle of the night to wake up with an eruption. And I know, uh, you know looking at the channel, there's a lot of you that are like, there's an eruption, where are you? Post a video, please. Uh, it, it takes a little bit of time. I wanted to make sure that I had a lot of information before I had the video going. Here's another image, you know, super low quality. This was one of the first images that we saw in terms of the news reports. Now they showed this one here and they said that, okay, based on this, it's most likely that the eruption has occurred and they were gonna send the Coast Guard and a helicopter out to take a look. And after this image was posted, they went and they took a look and did confirm that yes, there was the eruption. And then I have a picture here a little bit closer and you can see the sky is this, I mean, it's, it's a beautiful shade of, of this reddish pink that's in the sky. And I'm, I'm very eager to go and take a look, but again, please follow the advice of the authorities and don't go straight for it. So like, taking a look at this, let's take a take a look at what the news is saying. Again, they are going with planes and they're taking a look to see exactly what's going on and they're taking measurements to make sure that they can understand the situation as much as possible. Now, the eruption, again, you can see it from in the city. So you don't need to go and drive. Um, they're saying do not go with your drones it's dangerous and restricted area for aircraft and so you know you can't you can't go and and get there uh, a geophysicist said that it seems that if the eruption is slightly north of uh borgar fjall and a little north of and i hope i say this correct 
Nauthagi near Fagradesvetl. Uh, so the, the eruption is in a closed valley. So they are saying that it is one of the most suitable places to have this eruption. And actually, you know what? Let me just pull up this new image that we're seeing here. There we go. So this is the area that they're saying that the actual eruption is has occurred. There is a ton of, of beautiful images. I mean, we're looking here. This image here is from Grindvik. You can see the, the, the hue that is being cast onto the sky is absolutely phenomenal. I cannot wait to be able to go and take a look. Now, we have here, actually, this is, this is even more breaking news than I thought it could possibly get. So let's, uh, let's bring this here. We have a video of the eruption. This is absolutely fantastic. It's the first time I'm seeing this along with all of you. So, wow. I mean, this was posted just moments ago, and you can see just how active this is. Um, it looks so surreal. In fact, it looks it looks like something that it would be in just a movie, you know, some sort of visual effect, rather than something that's actually happening within driving distance to me. And I didn't feel any of it. You can see the pilots. Let's watch, let's watch that again. Just sort of take in, you know, this happened, you know, what time is it now? This happened about an hour ago. And I have no idea how long this eruption is expected to last or how long eruptions last. I think some of the ones that happened in Iceland recently have, have been months. If I'm mistaken, it was maybe weeks, but it, it wasn't sort of said and done within a couple of days. It doesn't look like it's one of those really violent eruptions to me. I mean, I don't know a lot about eruptions, but maybe you guys in the comments can get a, a better idea of what's actually going on here and what the situation might be for people in Iceland. If this is something that is, as I said in a previous video, a safe eruption, if it looks like I mean, it doesn't look like, I mean, there's obviously smoke and stuff, but it doesn't look like there's any ash going on. It doesn't look like, I mean, I didn't feel any earthquakes, so there wasn't a really violent explosion. And it was one of those things that people were like, oh, did, did the eruption occur? I don't know. We'll send someone to go check it out and see if it happened, which is really funny to me because I always thought that eruptions were these violent, violent occurrences that they're just, you know, monumental and everyone knew it happened. And then here we are, you know, I'm looking at this video now taken moments ago and it, it has an, a, a weird peacefulness to it but uh yeah i mean it's super exciting i think i think we're gonna wrap it there you guys were probably one of the first to take a look at this video absolutely phenomenal and and i hope uh yeah i hope i hope you enjoyed watching this it's really great so I will keep everyone updated. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date on all the latest things and hit the like button. Be sure to put stuff in the comments because I am very interested in what everyone has to say. You know, people out there watching this have more experience. Correct me on anything that's perhaps needing some corrections and let me know what you thought of the video. You know, what, what should I expect moving forward if, uh, if it's safe to go see it or should I expect sort of trouble around that area or trouble in Iceland for the next little bit. But let me know what to expect during an eruption because this is my first time. And yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting.